We just received some unexpected news of a sequel for the Ghost of Tsushima game. Ghost of Yotei? Yotai? I don't know. Let's dive in. PlayStation Studios dropping a bomb on us. Captured on PS5, not the Pro. Kurosawa effect is still in play here. Is that Mount Fuji or Kilimanjaro? Yotei, you idiot. It's in the title. To I don't know my mountains, obviously. Oh, Mount Yotai. Duh. Mmm, someone was hungry. That explains it. Who's that? Ronin? Not Rise of the Ronin, is it? Oh, okay. Who's he talking to? Oh, that must be the main character. I love the angles. Somebody just died. Oh, looking like a stylish samurai. Return of the horses. Don't do me like you did last game. Sucker Punch Games. Ooh, woo. Oh my gosh. That looks incredible. Wild horses just running. Oh my gosh, it looks better than ever. You can't have a Ghost of Tsushima game without the vibrant weather effects, atmospheres, environments, whatever. This looks incredible. Are wolves going to be prominent in this game? It looks like. I like that hat, by the way. Dual wielding katanas? Is that a new thing? And where is that wolf going? Wolf companions? <laughs> Ghost of Yotai. Yotai. That's, what, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. What? They got muskets? Okay, so I'm just going to start off by saying that... When I first saw this, I thought it was an expansion, another expansion that just came out out of the blue, but it's a whole new game. It's a sequel. This has been long awaited. I mean, what, four years since the first one came out, but still, I think this is what fans were wanting. Kind of like Days Gone, they're wanting a second one. Now I'm wondering how different this one is going to be compared to the first one as far as, you know, gameplay mechanics. Looks like the world is very similar. Level design is still top notch and they know what they're doing as far as creating a very immersive atmosphere. They better bring that photo mode back because that is a gem. And also going through this, I was wondering if using wolves was part of your kind of repertoire. Can you use them as companions or are they just a guide to something else? I don't know. It does look like customization is going to be prominent again here with the mask, the clothing, headwear. So that's awesome to see. And I really love this shot. This is crazy. If that's introduced into the game, like you can actually see that, that's just crazy. Riding with wild horses, going through flower fields. I mean, this is looking good. Now this is set to drop in 2025, so it's going to approach very quickly. That's only like three months away. I assume it's probably going to be later in the year, but still, this is just unexpected. Just to let you guys know, I barely beat Ghost of Tsushima, you know, the only game that's out right now, back in May, and I had an absolute blast. It was one of those games that I could just be a completionist, do multiple playthroughs, because man, I had so much fun. Now we get a whole nother game to do that? Sign me up. With dual wielding katanas and that beautiful mountain range there? I don't know. This is going to be another game of the year nominee ghost of tsushima was robbed 